Hey everyone, Greg Laurie here with John Irwin, the director of such films as Jurassic Park, Jaws. No, not really. Oh, yeah, no, didn't do those, but I <laughs> wasn't going to correct you. That's Spielberg. No, you directed I Can Only Imagine, I Still Believe, American Underdog, and now this film that's coming out in February of 2013, Jesus Revolution. So we're in a movie theater right now. We just did a test screening. And John, this thing is testing off the charts. Yeah. Tell me about that. Well, we, we, we test the movies when we when we make them and, and we there's companies that we, we do the official tests and it's actually um, the highest tested movie that we've ever wow. uh, made, higher than I can only imagine even, but it just means that people really, really love the movie. Why? And, and, and I Why just do you think, think? They, they resonate with the story. I think there's something magical about an, an idea that's found its time. Yeah. And it's so interesting how it's the story then that really is the story now. Yeah. It's such a relevant story. And I, I just think it's a movie that makes you laugh. It's a movie that makes you cry. It's a movie that you see yourself in. And it's a movie that you instantly want to be a part of. Like, how can this happen again right now? How can we have another Jesus revolution today? It is truly a movie you have to experience. Like, like it, there, it's, there's nothing like, what, you know, we're in a theater right now we're just now showing it to people. Yeah. Uh, after all this, all this time, it's yeah. it, even in its unfinished state because it doesn't come out till next spring. Yeah. It's uh, it's it's just a movie that people deeply resonate with, and it's it's a movie you have to see with an audience, and and uh, and it's and it it just feels really really special. I think people are going to be really surprised, John, by the twists and turns this film takes. Uh, with uh, conflicts, a uh, resolution of the conflicts, disappointment, uh, and, and things that happen to all of mm -hmm. us in life, but you show in such a powerful and beautiful way how, how Christ can heal and restore and put things back together. But I think what sets this movie apart, I think it's a masterpiece of a film. Brilliant performances by Kelsey Grammer as Pastor Chuck Smith, uh, Joel Courtney as me playing my role, uh, Anna Grace Barlow as Kathy, and uh, and Jonathan Rumi, best known for his role uh, of Jesus and the Chosen in the role of evangelist Lonnie Frisbee. But what's unique about this film, John, is the gospel is in the film, complete with a sinner's prayer. I don't mm -hmm. think I've ever seen that in a film before. I, I've never. I'll tell you something that happened. I've, I've never um, had this happen at a, at a at a at a movie screening. It was the same when we were shooting the scenes. Um, I screened it for a group of uh, for a film festival, uh, and and it was a it was there was a lot of families there, there was a lot of yeah. young people there, yeah. just to see how they'd respond to it, uh, and uh, and the, it was a Christian worldview film festival down at church in Georgia, and uh, Sherwood Church, a wonderful uh, church and, and great friends, and they literally had to tear down the screen after the movie because I think it was like 16 kids wanted to be baptized wow. when they saw it at a film festival, wow. and it, I've never had anything like that happen, and I just think that yeah. that is going to be. What's going to happen when people see this movie? They're going to say, "I want this to happen in my life." Wow! You know, and, it's life uh, imitating art. Yeah. Even when we are shooting the baptism scenes, and the and the Pirates Cove plays a key role in this movie, beginning, middle, and end. But this little spot where we actually did the baptisms back in the Jesus movement days, and for the film, like there's this one character that's baptized in the film, and right after he was baptized in character, he came to me and said, "I want to accept Christ." and be baptized for real. Yeah. And then I baptized him over to the side where you were still shooting. We, we were literally filming your yeah. baptism, <laughs> with dramatizing, and nobody even knew it was happening, and you were baptizing characters yeah. in the film. Not only that, you, you know, you taught Jonathan, uh, uh, you know, how to, you, went, you took him to baptism school, yeah. and you were teaching him how to, how to not throw your back out and yeah. what to say. Yes. The, Baptist, the, 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 the sinner's prayer in the, in the movie, yeah. you know, you, you wrote and taught it to Jonathan. And he was he was doing those performances, and he came. He's a wonderful actor, and and, uh, and 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 sort of a method actor. And he came out of the water. He came to me. He's like, I just want you to know, this is happening for real. Like these extras, wow. the they're actually making decisions for Christ. I think I'm doing it the right way. I just want to check with Greg. Wow. I'm taking this very seriously. And it was like seven or eight people, Incredible. and it just there was it was in the air. The power was in the air, and to be at the same place that those events actually happened and feel that same power. I just, I think that yeah. it can happen again. So we have a bold vision for this film. I see this as more than a film. I think this can become a movement. Only God can make that happen. But we're gonna do everything we can to make this film successful. In fact, our vision and our goal is to make this the number one film in America 
when it opens. Um, what is the exact date it opens? It's Feb, uh, Feb 24. It's, uh, it's uh, February 24. And <laughs> Jesus being number one at the box office would be amazing. Yes. Uh, but I think it would Jesus also... Jesus Revolution is the title. I think it would also, uh, you know, I believe that if we can launch the movie correctly and unify our voice together yeah. as believers, um, I think millions and millions of people that need the movie will see it. That's the way movies work. And yeah. And I think it would be really if we could if we could unify our voice and yeah. and, and rally around this movie and this concept yeah. that God did it once He can do it again Amen. and He can do it now and He can do it in my life and in my family and in my in my generation and my time and uh, and I and I think that the launching the movie correctly is a huge part yeah. of that. And we want to be ready on the back end with follow up to provide New Believers Bibles, which is a special edition of the New Testament that I wrote these notes for there's 10 million of them in print but it has the gospel in it follow-up steps and how to grow as a christian we want to provide every person that sees a number at the end of the screen that they can text uh we want to supply them with one of these bibles and then follow up on them so there's a qr code on the screen right now if you scan that qr code you can find out more about how to support the revolution the revolution is coming the jesus revolution it's a film but our prayer is that it will become even something more than a film. Yeah, I just think I, my daughter just turned 13, you know, and uh, my prayer is that what, what God did in your generation when you were a teenager, yeah. God can do as my daughter's becoming a teenager. God can do it now. We yeah. need it. We're ready for it. Uh, we need another Jesus revolution now, yeah. and, and, uh, and I think it can happen. I think if it doesn't happen, our country is in deep trouble. Because, you know, it's not a political revolution we need. It's not a moral revolution we need. It's a Jesus revolution we need. We need a spiritual awakening. It may be America's only hope. Well, it worked before. You know, what's interesting is when we did the research and, and we talked, um, when I talked to you and so many other people, this word desperation just yeah. kept coming up. It's, it's like it was a time where we were all just desperate. Yeah. And I... I've never felt more desperate in my lifetime yeah. in America. Like we just need hope. We need help, uh, and we need God, and uh, and and we sort of we need each other. And so I think we're reaching that same moment. Yeah. And when it was really bleak and it was really dark, but it's in the darkness that the light shines. And 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 if 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 revival broke out then in a very similar time, why not now? Why can't Amen. this be the answer that we need? You know. Yes. Let's pray to that end. I once asked Chuck. I'll close with this, but. A number of years ago, I was sitting with Chuck having lunch, you know, who's portrayed in this film by Kelsey Grammer. And I said, Pastor Chuck, do you think we'll ever see another Jesus movement? And he said, you know, Greg, I'm not sure. I don't know if we're desperate enough, but I actually think we've become more desperate since that day I asked him that question. Mm -hmm. And th that's what we need, desperation, and call on the Lord. And he says, and I'll do great and mighty things. So let's pray to that end, Jesus Revolution, coming in the spring of 2023. Hey everybody, thanks for listening to this podcast. To learn more about Harvest Ministries, follow this show and consider supporting it. Just go to harvest.org. And to find out how to know God personally, go to harvest.org and click on Know God.